One of the things I love to do is make wine and I use a vacuum pump to transfer it. Hopefully you can see how nasty that is, but um, the acid in the wine totally eats up the insides of the vacuum pump. So I ripped a compressor out of a mini fridge and I'm now using that. Now I've cut the top off of it and I did that because I had to service it. The acid was still rough on this whole assembly, but if you do this one thing, uh, it's going to probably keep you from having to cut this top off. So I'll show you how to maintain this. I'll show you kind of how it works. Like this is the suction side. So we're going to get a vacuum on this. This is the little piston that is sucking and blowing. This is the discharge tube comes around and out there. So because we're not moving refrigerant and oil through, we have to be sure we keep this cool. I took everything apart and lubricated it with uh, silicone grease and that really, really helps. But one of the best lubricants I've found is synthetic oil because it just takes a lot of heat and maintains its integrity. I lube up there. There's a, there's a few lube holes, you know, you just hit, hit the little lube holes. Okay. Now this is going to pull a vacuum. And when you use this to pull a vacuum on a keg, you can pull the wine into the carboy, or excuse me, into the keg without any uh, uh, contamination, you know, oxygen, microbes, any of that. You still want to oxygenate your wine with like a decanter. It is good for wine to get exposure to some oxygen. But anyways, we're going to look at what this vacuum is pulling on a gauge. And it's going to give me a chance to teach a little bit about a manifold gauge. So we have the suction line of this compressor going here. And I have both of these knobs all the way out. Well, actually, I don't have the red one out. So there's a, there's a plunger cutting this half off. So this pressure is going to go in here and it's going to be allowed to go into the yellow hose. Now the yellow hose, I have a T in and it's going to go up to a more accurate vacuum gauge. So we'll be able to see exactly what this thing is pulling. Now I cut it on just with an on off switch and there it is. So you can see it's pulling down the gauge set and you can more clearly see that it's pulling this down. Now, what I would do is take this yellow hose like this. And see that it would be drawing on the keg. Hopefully you can hear that. The maximum amount of vacuum I've found this thing to pull is about 23 inches, um, especially when it's on a bigger system. When it's on something like a keg, you're probably only going to get like 10 to 12, but that's all you need. There's just so much CO2 off gassing. And that's the other purpose that it serves is as your keg is under a slight vacuum, it's also removing CO2. I hope you all found that interesting and I'll see you on the next one.